What's up, boys? Call sign Grimy here. We're taking a look at the development process and plans for the AH64D Apache for 2023, courtesy of Ego Dynamics. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it right here. This is by far my personal favorite helicopter. And honestly, it's the only helicopter I actually fly. <laughs> So, so that's why I like it the most. Now, Ego Dynamics makes it perfectly clear that this is an exceedingly complex aircraft to work on and that there's still a lot of work to do. And to be fair, it is honestly one of the newest modules to come out. It's still very early in its developmental phase. And while it flies and works pretty good, I enjoy it. There's always room for improvement. Now, they're saying that some of their biggest tasks are underway are going to be the introduction of the AGM 114L radar guided Hellfire Missile. Oh, I cannot wait for that. Uh, also, implementation of the improved data link module. It's also going to allow flight members to exchange their location and targets. Oh, this is this is getting me super excited. I might have a little bit of a chub. I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. Also, in parallel, they're going to be working on two important tasks uh, throughout 2023. And let's talk about those. First, an improved flight model and stability and control augmentation system. Now, Compared to their fixed wing aircraft, these these helicopters like the Apache can be a lot to fly and admittedly so. I mean, you have to keep your feet on the rudders. You've got to work the collective, the stick. It, it, there's a lot to do if you're piloting these aircraft. And the flight model is very complex simulation and they're trying to really get it properly implemented and dialed in. So what they're looking to do is refine the SEAS to make flying the aircraft a bit easier by adjusting the collective channel behavior, uh, tuning the yaw offset, eliminating the roll when ham fisting the collective and adjusting the hold molds. And I, I do agree with the adjusting the hold molds because right now they kind of work, but they they kind of don't, and it's kind of hard to explain, but if you fly the Apache, let me know if you kind of understand what I'm trying to say about the hold molds and how they work to an extent. It's probably the best way I can word it. Let me know down below in the comments. Let's talk about the FCR. I am excited about this, the fire control radar. Now, the FCR is gonna be one of these features that, that significantly adds the lethality to this uh, Apache compared to the older Model A. Now, the FCR is gonna be able to scan for detect classify q weapons to both air and ground units oh, the blood is rushing just thinking about having this in in the apache and this is one of the team's larger tasks for 2023 and the way i interpret this is that it probably won't come for some time maybe closer to the end of 2023 it, it, the way they they're saying that this is such a big task that uh it seems like it's gonna be a bit of a work so we might have to wait on this but i think it'll be well worth the wait now let's talk about the laser spot Spot tracker. In addition to self laser designating, the AH-64D is also going to be able to detect and track a laser from an offboard destination source, like another aircraft or a JTAC, which just expands the uh, capabilities to do joint operations. For instance, uh, I've been in situations where I've run out of ammunition. I've, I've dumped my whole payload, but there's still choppers in the area, some Apaches, and I can say, "Hey, I got, I got eyes on. I'm lazing right now. Here's my code, dude. That is." It will be so awesome for those situations or vice versa you know um you can get in low and you're in your apache you can lay something you can call it up for the you know the 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 f-16 that's way up thirty thousand feet high and it drops a a, a gbu 12 or something i mean there's just endless opportunities for like those co co-op situations that that just really really excite me next we'll talk about the laser warning receiver now of course in the apache it can already detect radar emissions and missile launches and if you You've been in an Apache, you know, it detects every missile launch. That thing could be flat out annoying, but it's also going to be able to detect and warn you of being laser designated. Oh, this is going to help so much. So that laser designation, uh, it's going to be a good indication that you may have a tank round or a laser guided missile coming your way. How many times have you, you know, seemingly cleared a area and you go in close to kind of just inspect for any remaining ground troops. And it just so happens that like that one ground troop that's tucked away behind the building has a, a, a rocket launcher and he just blows you out of the sky. <laughs> Anyone else? Just me. I'm holding my hand up right now. Oh, OK, I thought so. <laughs> and finally, the radar frequency interferometer. I didn't sign up to read big words. <laughs> the radar frequency interferometer. Oh, my God. So the RFI is part of that FCR system, which is already telling me that this is probably going to be something that's going to be 
maybe not even into 2023 because if, if, if the FCR is going to take them most of this year to potentially get done, this could be something that may be in development and rolls out after that, which could be, uh, for all intents and purposes, 2024. But what it is, is that it's going to locate radar emitters in their range in azimuth. So it's going to let you know. And then the radar jammer, of course, is going to help reduce the effectiveness of, of those emitters in tracking you. Uh, and as they say here again, that this could be something that's done in 2024. All right, that's a recap of the main goals what Eagle Dynamics is looking to bring as far as new features to the Apache in 2023. And of course, with a grain of salt, it's possible that some of these could extend into 2024, but at least we know what they're working on. And that's great communication from Eagle Dynamics to the community. It gives us something to look forward to. Uh, and uh, just hope that they get through it uh, as smooth as possible so that we can get it in a timely manner because I know we're all itching for it. Let me know what you're most excited about feature-wise coming to the Apache down below in the comments. If you found the video informative, useful, make sure you throw it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Call sign, grind me out.